Pastor K. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to another episode of Love <laughs> Notes. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, for those of you who are veterans to our Love Notes series, we want you to drop some houses down in the comments. Um, we, we skipped a little, a little minute. We had a little gap from the yeah. last Love Notes yeah. because... Um, our page got destroyed, you guys know, and so a lot of the people that, you know, wrote us, their stuff was gone. It's, it's gone forever. now. <laughs> so, yeah, so we decided to open up it again on our new page, our new Instagram at houseofk.love. And <laughs> why am I saying it? Love. You seen that now? <laughs> so, we're going to just jump right into this new episode of Love Notes. So, my girlfriend and I have been together for... A year and three months and we had a pretty rocky 2020 but we have decided to go into this year different and start off dating again and taking things slow and really allowing ourselves the chance to get to know each other better we sort of felt like we rushed into things because of the quarantine and we were in each other's faces a lot more than we would have been had there been no panoramic panoramic <laughs> So one of the issues we had last year was a particular friend she has that is a man that she has been friends with since childhood, but he is like totally in love with her. Mm. So much so, they've had texts about being with each other if we break up what? and confessing to each other that they love one another more than just friends. When I brought it up, she only tells me that he is her friend and so what he's, and so what, he's in love with her because she invests in our relationship. She's actively in love with me and she wants future with me so I shouldn't trip off the flirting or leading on <laughs> with this man. However, it makes me so uncomfortable to know that they engage in these conversations. He does know that she is in a relationship with me and he acknowledges that from time to time. But they both still flirt and talk about different things I feel are inappropriate because she is in a relationship with me. I have a problem with the nature of this relationship because I don't engage in conversations like this with anyone in my life. I have male friends and female friends that I know like me or would want to date me, but I don't lead them on in any way because I'm happy where I'm at. So my question is, what should I do? I have tried to address the situation, but she just doesn't understand that this friendship, quote unquote, wow. makes me feel some kind of way. <laughs> wow no, that is a lot um i say go with your instinct and leave her where she is clearly she's not being truthful if you saw with your own eyes text messages between them two and it wasn't a friend you know text message yeah i mean people say things all the time but their actions is gonna tell you exactly yeah. what you need to know yeah um and with that being said i really don't um see this to be your person because number yeah. one if this is your person she respect how you feel yeah. about it respect. and she wouldn't even cross those boundaries and for two you can clearly see how she's gonna how she acts period it's not even about her being with you or her being with him it's about how she is going about the situation so she's texting him behind your back you they just let you know that she's not a truthful person yeah um so yeah. i would say you know Take it for what it is um, and go with your gut. It's, yeah. It seems like to me you wrote all that, you know, to kind of bend it out. But it seems like to me you know you know what you need to with be you, doing. Yeah. yeah. Don't waste any more time on mm -mm, that. No. But good luck with everything. Um, please send us an update. Yeah. Um, and let us know, you know, how, how everything is going out for you guys. If you decide to leave or, you know, if you guys find a solution to respect each other. But yeah. sending you plenty of love and light. And we hope your situation, you know, works out for you. Yeah. I've been talking for three weeks to a Scorpio woman. Mm. <laughs> I really like her a lot and she's a very sweet person. I think the flowers would be a nice gesture to show her how lovely she is to me. Then again, I think maybe too sappy or she might think I'm trying to romance her too soon. Should I buy her flowers on her first date? Yes. Yes, by her <laughs> And it seems like to me you are dating a Scorpio woman because you just can't read, sis. You're like, I don't know if I should sell flowers. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Listen, I've been there. You just got to be yourself. <laughs> and 
when they're ready to let the guard down, that she'll let the guard down. But. Yeah, but definitely get them flowers. Yeah, <laughs> get the flowers. I haven't been in a relationship with another woman for three months now, but the problem is that we are long distance and we love each other deeply and we want to spend the rest of our lives together. But my question is that, do you think me and her will last or is it best to find and meet someone in person? Okay, so I'm guessing you have been talking to this, um, another woman for three months and you guys haven't seen each other yet yeah. in person, um, but you talk on the phone and... Um, you know, it's yeah. first love for each other, I yeah. guess. Should you stay? I, I don't know. I feel like I need some more details. <laughs> you know? know? But, I mean, I feel like three months is not really not that long. Mm. One. And then, two, like, you should give it time to, like, meet each other. Yeah. And, you know? Make sure she's not a catfish. Yeah, before, <laughs> before you just, sorry. like, <laughs> do you feel like she might be? Is that why you're, like, yeah. should I just? Meet someone in person. Yeah. We need some more. We need some more. Yeah, we need some more information <laughs> on that because I can't really answer it. Um, because I don't know if it'll last. Yeah, you know, who knows? Who I mean, knows it's only been three months, and you haven't seen her in person. So I think we think. I don't think she's seen her in person. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what you say, babe? I just said. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh my god. What? Okay. okay. This is our final love note. Okay. This is for love notes. Oh. Okay. All right. How do you feel like failure? No. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. Good. It's not what that says. No. She, just, she didn't try to correct me. She just said, no. <laughs> like, start over. <laughs> Start over. And then you did it so passionately. How do you feel like <laughs> failure? Loud and wrong. Loud and wrong. <laughs> you don't see shit to me. <laughs> Loud and wrong. You read it. <laughs> Sometimes I get to talking in cursive. Oh shit. Alright. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Did you need me to read it? I, I think you got it. I believe Babe, in don't you. don't do me like I that. I know, I said I believe in you. <laughs> She's trying to act like No, I'm well. being for real. I believe in you. Come on, you got it. You know I can read. I know. You mean? You're what? Me like you Who said that you couldn't read? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go. What does that say about me? <laughs> Forget me. I does not say about her. <laughs> she can't read. Like, um, this is... <laughs> yeah, I got it. Hey, okay. All right. Action. This is for love notes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is something new for the cat slide part. <laughs> we about to get funky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying real tears. This is for love notes. How do you not feel like failure after a relationship has ended? I feel like a huge failure and I just don't want to leave my house or be around people anymore. Please, I want to remain an um, anonymous. So, I think what helps is looking at every relationship as a lesson. And what did you learn and what did you gain from the experience? Yes. I think when you look at it from that perspective, because it sounds like... It doesn't really sound like a victim mindset, but just like you took it way too seriously. I don't think you should take life seriously. <laughs> you know, it's just like all experience. So I, that's how I would look at it. Like, okay, this didn't work out. Why didn't it work this time? Mm -hmm. You know, and growing from it. I think, I think you should, um, like, yeah, like Babe said, I think you should take this time for you, uh, reflect on... You know, maybe why some of the things didn't work out. Did you see any red flags that you see repeat in different relationships? Because that can be a thing, too. Mm -hmm. um, and don't blame yourself. You don't ever take anything personal. Even if something doesn't work out, it's not 100% your fault regardless. Right. So right. Um, just take it for what it is. 
Um, definitely do some healing though, some self love, yeah. you know, loving yourself a lot more. Yeah. And know that you are beautiful inside and out, no matter, you know, no matter what the negative things you may tell yourself, you know, just yeah. get some positive self encouraging affirmations going for you, girl. And just know that the person that's for you will um, find you. So, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Love Notes. Mm -hmm. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And also make sure you turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss any of our new videos. And if you want to submit a love note, babe, tell them what they can do. They can find us on Instagram at houseofk.love. Send us a personal DM message with the title Love Notes so that we know that it's a love note. Skip a line. Give us your um, question or uh, whatever advice you may need. And if you want to remain anonymous, just put it on there and we will answer it on our next episode of Love Note. Thank you guys.